position at six foot six inches, number 25. The at the center position, standing six foot eleven, number 22. Shooting guard, standing six foot five, number one, Devin Booker. At the other guard position, at six foot zero inches, number three, Chris Paul. Playoff battle in the West starts off with a bang right here. Game one. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. Nikola Jokic loves to pass. He said an assist makes two people happy instead of just one. So it's as simple as that. And that simplicity and creative joy is part of what makes the big man tick. Jokic said, it helps me having fun out there. It's a different way to approach the game. And that makes him one of a kind in this league, Kevin. Sure is. Thanks, D.A. Both teams tonight dealing with some injuries. Here's a look at who's out for the evening. And in the postseason, health always such a big factor. Neither team at full strength. No excuses. you got to find a way. Now let's take a look at Denver's opening lineup. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Bill Barton is out there with Morris, and it's Porter in at the three spot. And for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Andre Ayton out there with Jay Crump, and it's Paul in at the point. the Suns to start out. Booker against Barton. The drive by Booker. It's not going to go for him. Barton with some nice D. Here's Porter. And a missed late. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Bridges inside the three-point line. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. Outside Porter. There's the pass to Millsap. There's the dish to Morris. It's hauled in by the Suns. Crowder kicks to Booker. Crowder against Porter. For the three. Booker dishes to Bridges. Ball outside from deep. Here's Aiton, and at last they get one to fall. Well, we're talking about a big-time rebounder. DeAndre Aiton's timing excellent. And Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Morris. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. For Denver, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Offensive rebound, Millsap, and it's slammed in by Millsap. And the play succeeds because Millsap comes to the court hungry. He chases down boards and second chance opportunity. Now here's a the feed now to Crowder. Fader on the way, misses off the left iron. Jokic kicks to Morris, cans the shot from the wing. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Ball looking over the floor. Over Morris, the shot's good from Paul. There is a relentlessness to what Chris Paul does. This guy works at his own pace, wears you out searching for his shot. Crowder with the steal. Fast break, here come the Suns. 
Bridges misses. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And the turnover again by Denver. Phoenix has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Morris against Paul. Trying to get open is Crowder, and it's Paul missing. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert into traffic. And stolen by Eaton. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Bridges leading the charge. How about that drive from Mikel Bridges? Draw the contact, young sir. The Phoenix. Suns shooting their first free throws of the game. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Bridges. After winning two championships in college at Villanova before turning pro, I think Mikel Bridges has the next championship in his sights. That's an NBA title. All three throws good from Bridges. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Barton outside. Pass to Porter. Got it. Good job in the low post. And he's just adept at scoring it in so many ways. It's clear Porter very comfortable operating inside. Crowder feeling it out a bit. Six to shoot. Here's Booker. That one misses. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Here's Porter. Pass to Morris. He kicks it to Barton. Outside Porter. A pointer. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Booker against Porter. Paul, oh, no one around him. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Paul's got five now. He has proven that you have got to get out and contest on the three-point shot. Chris Paul is always efficient from three. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They trail by one. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. Now, here's Porter. Barton outside. A floater, and stolen by Booker. Bridges passes to Paul. Takes the three. Another three for Phoenix. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Morris kicks to Barton. Outside Porter. Master at Millsap. A corner. Barton. It's hauled in by the Suns. Just doing the job on the backboard. Ball outside. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. And the wide open shot from Crowder. Millsap grabs the miss. Millsap's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Crowder against Morris. Good work defensively by Paul. Suns lean by four. Booker right side. But Trey, that's good from Paul on the assist by Booker. 
Paul's got 11 points. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. Yeah, and Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Substitution here for Phoenix. Sharch has checked in for Aiton. Frank Kaminsky comes in for Crowder. Tory Craig, he's checked in for Bridges. And it's Payne in for Devin Booker. Here's Rivers. Here's Green. Offensive rebound. McGee. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Nuggets shooting their first free throws here tonight. Good from McGee. Both good from the line that time. And here's Phoenix. They're on a 15 to 6 run. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. McGee against Charlotte. Here's Gordon. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Well, you have to admire the strength of Aaron Gordon. This guy is adept at finding his way through intense defense. Kaminsky with the ball. Picked up by Rivers. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Kaminsky! Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. The Nuggets trail by seven. And the basket board. the board. Phoenix has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Pass to Craig. Ball outside. Pass to Craig. And it's keeping it alive with a new 14. Sharks, that's good. That's what you call getting to the right spot at the right time. Tremendous awareness from Dario Sharks. Rivers scanning the floor. High arcing shot. He lays it in. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Now here's Payne, started by Green, and finished off by Kaminsky. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. 
I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. They have a nine-point lead. Passes it to Paul. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. For Phoenix, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. One shot. And that one falls for Paul. Well, there was a decades period of time where Chris Paul was simply stated the best point guard in the league. But let's make no mistake, this guy is successful off the basketball court as well. For such a long time, he has played a significant role in the players' union, advocating for the players at large, and I have such admiration for it. The Nuggets shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. One falls for the Suns making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Here's Payne. No good. Shot missing. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. We've got 113 left to play in the first quarter. Down low. And it's Gordon. That time on the assist by McGee. Gordon's got his second bucket of the night. I'll tell you this, the interior game of Aaron Gordon is coming along. He is looking more comfortable and more confident in there. Now here's Kaminsky. Just five to shoot. Johnson can't hit. They play the clock right, they can go two for one. Just got to time it up right. It's Rivers on the wing. He's guarded by Kaminsky. McGee's shot is off. Phoenix leading by eight. Now the pass to Payne. Pass to Sharich. Over Green. And it's off the back rim. No good. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Suns lead by eight. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And we caught him before the game with Nikola Jokic, who had a few thoughts about how to help his team succeed. It's selfless. I mean, you need to took your uh, pride, you took your ego out, just to be part of the team and do whatever you need to do to be the best uh, player in your role. Greg, there are areas of Jokic's game where he probably is the best in the world. I can't think of a center with better floor vision or better passing ability. His positioning, his angles, his ability to use his size to maximize effectiveness all at an elite level. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. They've got Austin Rivers. Green is out there with Aaron Gordon. And there's JaVale McGee. 
Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. For Phoenix, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. Shooting two. And that one falls for Johnson. And Johnson drops them both. And so here's Denver. It's a 10-point game. Outside Gordon. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They are just killing them on the interior. The Nuggets shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. throw good Gordon well I think the things that Aaron Gordon has added to his game specifically that reliable three-point shot is a really welcome sign this guy has an incredible upside now here's Booker Back to Payne five on the clock the Nuggets trail by seven Gordon with no one around. Good on the three-point shot. Gordon's got six here in this quarter. I love that Aaron Gordon goes right up with it. He's got really good instincts for knowing when to catch and shoot. Charge outside. Dishes it to Booker. Now here's Payne. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Oh, and here we go with Gordon. Nobody back. Here's Rivers. McGee trying to break free. Johnson with the defensive effort. Payne gets a wide open look. Phoenix no good that time either. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Pass to McGee. Composo defended by Booker. Here's Sharnich. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. The drive by Booker. He hits through for a second basket. He's now two for six. Well, he can do this now. Booker is not just a spot-up shooter. Very good with the ball in his hands. Denver calls timeout. Changes for Phoenix. Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich. Jay Crowder comes in for Frank Kaminsky. And it's Bridges in for Johnson. Now, here is more. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Here's Booker. And the layup's good off the glass. Booker's got four points in the quarter. Well, it's six foot six. Let's remember, Devin Booker has enough size to feel confident on the interior. This is it to Barton. Now, here's Jokic. He's covered by eight. Jokic against Aiton from about 19 feet. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Jokic. Payne with it. No points in the game yet for him. A nice shot by Booker. Now this guy has such a versatile offensive skill set. Devin Booker is a threat once he steps across the half-court line. Crowder with the steal. And now the Suns, a fast break. And there's Booker on the assist from Crowder. 
And it's a nine-point Suns lead. By every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. To the inside, Millsap. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. The crafty veteran likes seeing Millsap be aggressive and really force the defense to get physical. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. Underrated coming into the league and underestimated. Millsap doesn't have any doubters anymore. And the Suns making a change here. Paul's checked in. All three throws good for Millsap. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in line so far here in the second quarter. The Nuggets trail by seven. Morris inside, working on Booker. Suns have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Aiton dishes to Paul. Back to Aiton. This guy is such an intelligent basketball player who understands how to read defenses and make them react. Go to work, DeAndre Aiton. The Suns have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Aiton. I think what you like most about DeAndre Ayton is probably how efficient he is on the offensive end. Now, obviously, the next step, he's got to raise his game and defensive intensity on that end of the floor. Ayton hits them both. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Morris outside. The pass to Jokic. Porter kicks to Morris. And again, Denver with the triple. And not just a scorer, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. Crowder with it. Now guarded by Porter. Bridges against Porter. Lock at six. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got his sixth rebound on the night. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. The Nuggets trail by four. Morris passes to Millsap. Porter kicks to Morris. I'll tell you, you cannot shake Chris Paul when he's locked in. His defense is as good as it gets. Bridges dishes to Paul. Booker outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Booker's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Suns. Morris passes to Millsap. Porter with it. Carries it down low. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. All finds Booker to the paint. Here's Aiton. The shot, no good. Good defense by Jokic. The Nuggets trail by five. Here's Porter. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got three assists in the game. Ball outside. On the wing, Booker. Shoots over Barton. 
Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Back to Morris, and that one drops. Morris has got nine points now in the quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Oh, Aiton in position. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Elite athleticism from Mr. Aiton. No doubt on the dunk. Porter against Bridges. Fades. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Aiton's got six rebounds now in the game. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Well, I'll tell you, great job by Crowder to free himself up an aggressive interior score. Now, here's Jokic. Over Paul. Misses off the right iron. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. A nice shot by Booker. A really strong second quarter in terms of scoring the basketball. Morris passes to Jokic. That three off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And it's sent back by Jokic. And check out Jokic using not just his length, but also the timing. Time out, time out. The offensive player better think twice next time. Outstanding pass on time and on target. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. for Phoenix. Kaminsky is checked in for Aiton. Johnson comes in for Jay Crowder. And it's Torrey Craig in for Mikael Bridges. Now here's Paul. 16 points for him. Feeds it to Booker. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. The Suns have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight going nine for nine. Throw good Booker. Well, you love guys who are efficient, reliable free throw shooters. Devin Booker is not the guy you want to send to free throw line. Now, here's Jokic. Ball's not loose. They get it back, and the basket is good. Huge hole in the defense that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Suns leading by eight. Ball kicks to Craig. Here's Kaminsky. He's covered closely. And the dunk by Booker. There are few people in the league that are more scary when they start to find their rhythm than Devin Booker. And he's cooking right now. Now here's Green. Inside. Here's Jokic. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. And it's six points for Jokic. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Nice open look, but it's no good. Phoenix has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. Some changes for Phoenix. Charge checked in for Booker. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Nuggets. Suns leading by eight. There's 49 seconds left in the first half of the game. Now 
Oh, here's Payne. He's guarded by Rivers. Five to shoot. McGee with the block. Here's Gordon, and it's Gordon with the finish. Wow, how about the burst? Aaron Gordon off the floor so fast. Don't sleep on him, gentlemen. You're going to look silly. Payne looking around. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Rivers. Green. Payne grabs the board. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Craig. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for Phoenix. They've run him for offense, and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. We'll get right back to the action when we return. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're sitting in. only it. three of us. Right, and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Well, for the Suns, they've put themselves in decent shape to grab that all-important Game 1 victory. So far, they've clearly been the better team controlling the flow. By no means is it a runaway but they've put themselves in a great position. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? Simply a special scorer. Booker, this guy is tough to stop. And we've seen this guy drop 70. That's right, 70 in a game. And he does it with a wide array of skills and constant movement. And Shaq, your take on Denver. Well, a lot of their points came in transition. They dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. Put the defense back on his heel. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. You, you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Booker and Bridges are the wing. Jake Crowder out there with Aiton. And it's Paul in at the point guard. That's who's out there for Phoenix. How effortless is a dunk for Aaron Gordon? He's ready for takeoff, gentlemen. With the putback. And Aiton stays with it. Aiton's got his third bucket of the night. Oh, how about the death touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. I think the improved strength, right? Devin Booker willing to take on the defender, and he wins out. He'll get finds Gordon. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Millsap has the open look. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offense, and then they're rolling early. Pass to Aiton to the right side. Booker outside. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. That's 28 points for Devin Booker. There's a level of floor awareness that has always been an eight to Chris Paul. What a pretty five. Gordon kicks to Barton. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up on the wing. And that one goes long. Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. Bridget for three. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Gordon for three. They get the rebound. And that one's good. Millsap. Really strong rebounding on the interior. And he gets the easy putback. Hooker the pass to Paul. It's stolen by Morris. And here we go with Morris. Running it up the court. Pass to Jokic. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. 
and not easy defending Jokic. His height puts the defense in a tight spot, and they just slipped up there. First trip to the line for him here. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw, good. Jokic. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. Porter's checked in for Denver. And Jokic drops them both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And Booker kicks to Bridget. Aiton with it. Now guarded by Porter. Aiton against Porter. Back to Bridget. And here's Booker from the arc. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Basket counts. Porter's got eight. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Paul, and it's sent back by Jokic, and they'll keep possession. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes of gone. Morris dishes a Porter. Jokic trying to free himself up. Porter, no luck. Suns lean by three. And here's Booker from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Booker's got eight points in the court. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Jokic draws the double. Porter can't get that one to fall. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Well, with the high release point on Mikel Bridges' jumper, it's very hard to contest. Just a matter of being consistent now. Now, here is Morris. 13 points in the game. Here's Barton, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Hooker the pass to Paul. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Working inside, Chris Paul has the ability to outsmart the opposition and makes himself a good shot opportunity. Porter finds Morris. A corner, Martin, and it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Bridget lays it up off the glass. And now it's a 10-point Suns lead. Well, I think effort might be the calling card of Mikel Bridges. This guy is willing to hit the offensive glass. All about how much do you want it? And the wide-open shot for Morris. Had the space there, but it's offline. Crowder kicks to Booker. Passes to Paul. In the corner, it's Bridges. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got six assists here tonight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Morris passes to Barton. And here's Jokic. Six on the shot clock. To halt the run. Good work defensively by Crowder. Suns lean by 13. 18 feet out. And it's Paul missing. Here we go. One on one. Here's Jokic. Lays it up and banks it in. Jokic has got 10. And you better hammer Jokic to get him off on his shot. The Serbian is a solid seven-footer and laser focused. Timeout called the Suns. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly.
Phoenix making some changes. Mike Kaminsky, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. Tory Craig comes in for Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Chris Paul. Now here's Payne. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. But they recover it. Goes back up. And Aiton with the layup. And the Suns lead by 13. Well, that's a determined scorer right there. DeAndre Aiton showing a little toughness on the interior finish. Here's Green, and good that time. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Booker. He has 31. Here's Eaton. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And guys, the offensive rebounding really has stood out here this half. All those second chance points are helping them maintain that lead. The Suns haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. Johnson, he's checked in for Devin Booker. Free throw drops for Eaton. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. They trail by 14, and the shot goes down. You well, know, the coaching staff loves seeing this kind of playmaking from Austin Rivers, the willingness to share the basketball. Now here's Payne. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. To the middle. Here's Rivers. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Rivers has got his second bucket of the night. The pass to Johnson. Here's Craig. Here's Kaminsky. And again, it's the Suns missing. The Nuggets trail by 10. Here's Rivers. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. The Nuggets have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Sharch has checked in for the Suns. And a switcher also for Denver. Gordon's checked in. Find the leg. Find the leg. One shot. January 15th of 2015 provided a special moment in NBA history. Austin Rivers made his debut for the Clippers guys who were coached, of course, by Doc Rivers. That was the first time in history a father coached his son in an NBA game. What a special, special time. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you got to love that one, Kevin. A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Now, here's Porter. He's got eight. Shot clock at six. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Suns leading by nine. Johnson in the corner. Out to Payne. Pass to Sharich. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Now here's Kaminsky. He's guarded closely. The Nuggets trail by nine. Here's Porter. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. For Denver, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Monte Morris has checked in for Rivers. And Porter, no good on that one. And the ceiling so high for Porter. A versatile, effective forward who does so many things well. Now here's Payne. McGee with the block. Inside, Porter. And finished off by Porter. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. It's stolen by Morris. A finish, and Morris throws it down. 
Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. One thirty-three left here in the third quarter. Pass to Craig. Lock at six. Off to Payne. And again, it's the Suns missing. Boy, you can't buy a buck. Shut out completely so far, and yet they're still ahead. And with that shot, the Suns' lead is cut to just one point on the basket for Morris. Passes it to Sharch. To Payne. Kaminsky with the ball. He's against Green. McGee with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by McGee. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. There's 53 seconds left in the third quarter. Just three to shoot. Porter with the steal. And now the Nuggets. Last break. Porter's running. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. A high-level athlete with great run and jump ability. Porter finishes well in transition. Here's Payne. Softly drops in the floater. Payne's got his first basket. Guys, we're not through three quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, competitive, and, and I think we all can agree that we thought this would be the type of game that would come down to the end. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. And here's Payne. To the wing on the left. Here's Sharch. Misses the shot. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Denver on top, leading by just one. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. With you again as our round one coverage continues. And Denver will start the fourth quarter. We've got Green. Morris is out there with Michael Porter. And there's Gordon. And it's McGee in at the five. McGee with the block. Now here is Morris. He's guarded by Kaminsky. Green. And he uses the glass on the layup. Green's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Denver. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. There's JaVale McGee with the rebound. Morris trying to free himself up. Porter, no luck. Suns trail by three. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. the pass to Paul. Knocks down the three ball. Paul's got 21 in the game. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over.
so for the Suns. Crowder, he's checked in for Frank Kaminsky. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Torrey Craig. And it's Devin Booker in for Johnson. And then for Denver, Jokic has checked in for JaVale McGee. Millsap comes in for Jermichael Green. And it's Will Barton in for Porter. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now here's Gordon following the shot by Chris Paul. Barton against Paul. Pass to Jokic. Just five on the clock. Barton inside the line. That one wide left. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Paul kicks to Sharch. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Well, zero hesitation on that catch and shoot. Dario, not shy, playing confidently. Nicely done. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He had a defender all over. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Aiton, he's checked in for Sharch. One is no good. Uh, it should be a two-point lead, but they'll be satisfied to have edged into the lead. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns, and it's blocked by Gordon. How about the timing of Aaron Gordon? This guy has got the ability to rise up and send it back. Sinks the three-pointer. Gordon's got the lead up to four now for Denver. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. Well, you love watching Devin Booker finish with power. He refuses to settle for the layup. Nice aggressiveness there. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. And he makes the first. A nightly double-double threat. Jokic is also an exceptional playmaker for a guy that size. And Jokic drops them both. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. Four-point game. Aiton trying to break free. Gordon with the defensive effort. Rebound by the Suns. To the inside. Crowder. Rebound by the Nuggets. Millsap's got his sixth rebound on the night. Back to Morris. And Crowder comes up to help. Here's Jokic. Button right open. He fires. And it's good off the back rim and in. Boy, that's what you call great thinking on the fly. Passing on the shot in midair and laying it off to the open man. Outside, Crowder kicks it to Paul. To the left wing. Bridges, no one around him. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got assist number eight here in this one already. Outside, Gordon. Pass to Morris. Six on the shot clock. Hits the three-point bomb. Martin's got five points in the quarter. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. Here's Paul. 
Suns keep it alive. And it's sent back by Jokic. And he recovers it. The Suns need to get a shot off. Shot by Crowder, no good. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Good on that shot, and with that, the Nugget lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Booker. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Now, here is more. Millsap. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Yeah, the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. And the Suns call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Suns trail by eight. Pass to Booker. Here's Ayton. Jokic defending. And it's sent back by Millsap. And Millsap with great hands and the anticipation there to block the shot. Here's Paul. And it's blocked by Gordon. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Booker outside. He dishes it to Paul. Shoots over Burton. Phoenix no good that time either. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. And they double up Gordon. Crowder with the steal. They push it up for on three, and the dunk by Booker. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Morris passes to Jokic, makes it off the glass. Jokic has got the lead up to eight now for the Nuggets. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. The Nuggets have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Paul against Morris. Here's Jokic, and Jokic slams it in. And Millsap is a team player, someone who is very willing to make the right pass to an open team. A nice shot by Booker. Working against size. He's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Jokic with the bucket. Yeah, Jokic seems determined to have a big night. So far, he's been successful. Bridges passes to Ayton. Back to Bridges. Second chance shot, and it's sent back by Jokic. Inside Crowder to the paint, and another shot. Morris against Crowder. Morris looking over the floor, and that one good. And it's a 10-point Nugget lead. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. The pass to Booker. The kick out to Crowder. A new 14 for the Sun. Down low, Paul takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Paul's got five points now in the quarter. Denver calls timeout. And clearly, he's in a lot of pain. They call time, and the trainer's going to get a chance to go out and check him over.
Now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Now, here's Jokic. Got a piece of it, and taken away by Paul. On the wing, Booker, Harden defending. Here's Ayton. The shot, no good. And the Nuggets going the other way. Inside, and Gordon gets it to go in on the assist by Porter. Porter's got his fifth assist in this one. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Booker. It's held in by Jokic. Jokic has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Pass to Morris. Jokic with it. He's covered by Aiton from about 19 feet. It's hauled in by the Suns. Booker's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Back to Crowder. Here's the three. Porter pulls it in. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Martin passes to Gordon. And the rejection by Eaton. That's an encouraging sign for sure. Boy, when DeAndre Eaton is hustling and focused, he can send it back with the best of them. Denver's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. And Crowder comes up to help. Barton kicks to Morris. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Porter banked in off the glass. Porter's got the lead up to 10 now for the Nuggets. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And here's Jokic after the three-pointer from Jay Crowder. That one drops for him. And the Nuggets lead by nine. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. So we see Denver get the win here. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Nicola, coach has talked about the growth of your leadership. What's gotten you to be more vocal? I just want to help my teammates. I think if I say something, they're going to listen to me. I just want to make them better. So I'm just going to do that. Well, it sounds like they're listening, man. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.